Hello everyone, Pixelmonk here, and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Mornings End Part 2. This quest is considered master difficulty and is very long, about two hours. The requirements for this quest include completion of Mornings End Part 1 and the ability to run past and potentially fight aggressive level 73 shadows. The required items for this quest include chisel, rope, and full mourner clothes, including the cloak, top, trousers, gloves, boots, and gas mask. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 43 prayer from Protect from Melee, high agility, two Ardoin teleports, elf teleport crystal, which you can get from elf warriors in Latuya, death talisman or death tiara. Now, if you are an Iron Man, then you'll have to get each of the 50 items on the list, which I've included in the description for a death talisman, or you can get them as a drop from dragon implings with 83 hunter. Lots of food and prayer potions, stamina and super energy potions, high prayer bonus armor, but only for the neck, weapon, shield, and ring slots to save inventory space. You can wear stuff like a Godbook, Crozier, Silver Sickle, Zamorak Stole, or a Wolfbane. Ring of Life, just in case. Begin the quest by teleporting to Latuya using an elf teleport crystal and talk to Arianwyn who is to the east of you. He'll tell you to stop the mourners from digging underneath West Ardoin and that you'll need a key from the head mourner. At this point, use the bank just to the south and put on your full mourner's gear. Also bring your prayer gear, but don't put it on just yet. Also collect an elf teleport crystal and a chisel and teleport to Ardoin. Now you'll have to get to the mourner's HQ, so follow the map provided to get there. Make sure you only have the mourner's gear on in order to get through the door. Go through the front door and then the door to the west and use the trap door on the floor. Head to the most southern room and talk to the head mourner to receive a new key. Use the key on the door that is all the way west. Once you go through, you can put on your prayer gear and set your quick prayer to protect from melee. A lot of this quest will require you to follow along exactly where I go in order to make it as easy as possible, but I will be explaining as we go, so pay close attention. Follow the path west and use a southwest path when you get to it. As you pass some dark beasts, turn on your quick prayer. Once you're near the temple entrance, you'll notice some dead bodies on the ground and you may be attacked by level 73 shadows, so keep your prayer on. Search the bodies until you receive a diary and a color wheel. Now I have provided in the description maps of the temple that should help you out a ton in this quest. So if you can go down to the description right now and open up map set 1. Right now you are at the entrance of the temple, so go just west and up the stairs. Once you are on the second floor, head all the way south and use the ladder. Once you are on the third floor, go north, take the second left, then the stairs that are just to your north. At this point you should be in between two sets of stairs. Take this time to read the diary and drop the color wheel. Go up the next set of stairs and go east as far as you can and then go south until you find a crystal. Use your chisel on the crystal and teleport back to Latuya. Talk to Arian when who will summon a Lunad. Use your crystal on a Lunad who will enchant it after a few moments. Talk to Alunid again to get the crystal, and then talk again with Arianwyn. Now you'll have to prepare for a long and very frustrating puzzle. So bank and keep your mourner and prayer gear, teleport crystal, enchanted crystal, and key. The great thing about this quest is that you can bank at any time and your puzzle will not reset. So you have the option of leaving at any point during this quest. But if you want to try and complete the quest in one go, then grab a rope, about four prayer potions, eight food, a couple of stamina and super energy potions, and a death talisman or tiara, but leave about four or five inventory slots open. Teleport to Ardoin again and head back to the Temple of Light. Now open up the map set to Blue Door. Go up the stairs and head east towards the crystal collector that is attached to the wall. It will be hard to see, so turn your map until you see a lever on the wall that is attached to the collector and pull it. Left click on the collector and choose the option Take All Items. You should receive a yellow crystal and three mirrors. 
Search the pillar of light nearby and use the rotate the mirror option. A window will pop up showing you the direction the mirror is facing. Rotating the mirror will change the direction in which the beam faces. Now you may start getting attacked by more shadows, so pray when you need to. If they do attack, you can also try walking around the pillar to avoid them. Now let's actually get started with the puzzle. Click on the pillar that is nearby you and rotate the beam to face north. Go north to the next pillar. Add a mirror and rotate the beam west. Walk west to the next pillar, add a mirror, and face the beam south. Follow the beam south to the next pillar and add a yellow crystal. Now you're going to want to go to the most southern pillar, add a mirror, and rotate the beam east. Now this is where it's going to get a little complicated. You're going to have to go through this agility course to get across to the blue door, but you are going to fail and probably a lot. So when you do fall through the floor, I have provided a map in order to get back up to the second floor. Once you go across the handholds, go through the blue door and collect from the chest. You should receive two mirrors and a cyan crystal. Now what I want you to do is open up your map set three pink door. Now you're going to want to go back to the crystal collector, either by going back across the agility course, or if you fall through again, just go back up those stairs. Pull the lever and collect the items inside. You should receive four mirrors and a yellow crystal. Place a mirror in the pillar nearby and rotate it to face the beam north. Follow the beam north to the next pillar, add a mirror, and rotate it so it faces west. Go west to the next pillar, but place a cyan crystal. Continue west to the next pillar, place a mirror, and rotate the beam north. Head north to the next pillar, place a mirror, and rotate the beam east. Go east to the next pillar and place a yellow crystal. Continue east and go through the pink door and collect from the chest. You should receive two mirrors. Now open up map set four, which is the cyan and yellow door. Go back to the crystal collector, pull the lever and collect the items. You should receive four mirrors and a yellow and cyan crystal. Place the mirror in the pillar nearby and face the beam north. Go north to the next pillar, face the beam west. Continue west to the next pillar and place a cyan crystal. Keep going west to the next pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam north. Go north to the next pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam east. Go east to the next pillar, place a mirror, but face the beam up, not north. Meaning, as you are rotating that mirror, there should be a beam of light coming directly up and out of the pillar and it should look something like what's on my screen here. Once you've done that, climb up the ladder. Place the mirror in the pillar nearby and face the beam west and go back down the ladder. Now head all the way south and use the ladder on the wall to go up. Once you are back on the third floor, head all the way to the northwest corner. As you do, you will come across two saws in the wall and they may hit you for five hit points. Place the mirror and look back at the video and see exactly how my mirror is facing. As you'll notice, the small side is facing to the west and the large side is facing to the east. Make sure your mirror looks exactly like mine. Climb back down the ladder you came in at. Once you are back down the ladder, go to the center of the room and down the stairs to the ground floor. Head towards the northwest corner of the room again and enter the door. Rotate the pillar and face the beam south. Walk through the south door and collect the chest at the end of the path. You should receive two mirrors and a fractured crystal. Walk back through the door you came in at, rotate the pillar to face the beam east to get out, and go back upstairs. Now you're going to have to go back to the middle pillar where you place the cyan crystal and replace it with a yellow crystal. Once you've done that, climb the ladder at the very south end. Go back to the northwest corner of the room and rotate the pillar so that the beam faces from south and east. Head all the way south, place a mirror in the pillar, and face the beam down, not south. If you want to take a look at my screen, you'll notice that the mirror is facing a very specific direction. Make sure your mirror looks exactly like mine in order for this to work. Once you're done with that, climb back down the ladder you came in at. Once you're back on the second floor, go slightly northwest to a circular room. Climb over the low wall and use the rope on the rock by the hole and climb down the hole. 
Continue on the path till you see a cyan door. Enter it and collect from the chest. You should receive a blue crystal. Pass back through the door and go back upstairs. Now I'm going to need you to open up map set 5, which contains the pink and yellow door. Go back to the crystal collector. Pull the lever and collect the items inside. You should receive 8 mirrors and a yellow crystal. Place the mirror in the nearby pillar and face the beam north. Go north to the next pillar, add a mirror, and rotate the beam west. Follow the beam west to the next pillar, place the mirror, and face the beam south. Go south to the next pillar and add a yellow crystal. Go to the most southern pillar, add a mirror, rotate the beam to the east. Now you're going to have to go back through the agility course. So if you did fall again, I have included that map and how you get back to the second floor. Once you have gone through the agility course, go through the blue door and use the blue crystal on the pillar. Now head back to the center of the room. If you did fall through, climb back up the stairs. Go to the pillar in which you added the yellow crystal and remove it. Go to the north pillar and rotate that pillar and face the beam up, not north. Go back down south and up the ladder. Head to the north pillar. Add the fractured crystal, which should make all four beams come out of the pillar. Walk around to the next pillar to the north, add a mirror, and face the beam south. Head all the way to the south pillar where you came up at, add a mirror, and face the beam east. Go east to the next pillar, add a mirror, and face the beam down, not south. Again, look at the video and make sure your mirror looks exactly like mine. Go west of the pillar in which you added the fractured crystal, place the mirror, and face the beam down again. Make sure you check out the video and see exactly what my mirror looks like and go back all the way down to the first floor. Walk south and east to the next pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam south. Go south to the next pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam east. Now you'll need to go back up the stairs into the most southern pillar and remove the mirror from it. Use the agility course to fall through back to the first floor. Just to your east is a purple door, go through it, add a mirror to the pillar, and face the beam north. Enter the yellow door and collect from the chest. You should receive three mirrors and another fractured crystal. Now I'm going to need you to open up map set 6, cyan and black. This is the final door. Go back to the crystal collector, pull the lever, and collect the items. You should receive ten mirrors, a fractured crystal, a blue crystal. Destroy the cyan crystal to save on inventory space. Place the mirror in the nearby pillar and face the beam north. Go to the north pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam down, not south. Be sure to check the video and make sure your mirror looks exactly like mine. Then head downstairs. Go north to the next pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam west. Go west to the next pillar, place the vertically fractured crystal in the pillar. Go to the most northern pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam up. Be sure that beam is coming straight up and out of the pillar and head back upstairs. Go to the most northern pillar with the ladder, place a yellow crystal, and go up the ladder to the third floor. Place a mirror in the nearby pillar and face the beam west. Go back down the ladder to the second floor. Go all the way south and up the ladder. Now you should be back at the third floor on the most southern part. Go to the very northwest corner of the room, add a mirror, and face the beam south and east. Go south to the next pillar, Add a mirror and face the beam east. Climb down the ladder you came in at the south and go to the ground floor again. Follow the map to the middle pillar and add a fractured crystal. Go west to the next pillar, add a mirror and face the beam up, not north. Head to the east pillar, add a mirror and face the beam up again, not north. Go upstairs to the third floor using the south ladder. Head northwest, place a mirror and face the beam west. Go all the way east, place a mirror, and face the beam west. Go to the middle pillar, place a mirror, and face the beam north. Now go north through the stairs, place a mirror on the next pillar, and face the beam west. Go west to the next pillar, and place a blue crystal in the pillar. Once you have finished all the maps, be sure that you do have your Death Talisman or Tiara with you. Don't leave yet, but if you're an Iron Man, then you'll have to bank and get each of the 50 items on the list, which I have included in the description, and you can bring them in multiple loads in order to get a Death Talisman. Now go back through those stairs, 
and down the next set of stairs. Go through the cyan door and rotate the pillar north. As you enter the final door, you will talk with a dwarf named Thorgol. You'll end up telling him how you got there and you must give him the items if you're an Iron Man, but don't leave yet. Make sure you turn the mirror back towards the cyan door you, you came in at first before leaving for an easy way to get back, or else you're going to have to run through the entire underground pass to get there. Once you've got your death talisman, use your death talisman on the death altar, and use the enchanted crystal on the death altar. Go back to the most eastern part of the room where we collected a crystal from the very beginning. Use your charged crystal on it. Teleport back to Latuya and talk to Arianwyn to complete your quest. Congratulations, you have received two quest points, 20,000 agility experience, access to the Death Altar, access to Dark Beast Task, and Crystal Trinket gives access to the Temple of Light. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.